Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist. I'm joined today with Hubby. Okay. Aww. And we are looking at light, glowing light. Let's make sure everybody can hear us. Yes, alrighty. So, what I've done is I've printed out a more zoomed in photo for me so that I can see, um, which is also what's popped up for you. Let me find a photo to pull. Here we go. Now, if we look at this, we've got some glow here because we know based on this photo, hopefully you can see it okay, the light is shining down because everything closest to the light is brighter. And this also shows how some of the anemone arms are turned, which way they're going based on this light. Now, two big things are going to really make a difference in what we're doing today. I'm trying to make sure I turn on the right one. Um, the light behind, or I should say the dark, because the dark is what really pops this out. And with this photo, we have a depth of field. So our main subject is here, which is why it is focused on this area, making it more detailed versus in the front and in the back. And that's why things are f fuzzy back there. So we are going to focus on this area right here and go with it. Alrighty, so I'm going to say hi to everybody real quick. Sheila, Amy, Teresa, Burrow, Sonia, Roxanne, Jay. Did you say Teresa? I did get Teresa. Sheila, yeah, I got Sheila. <laughs> you get two, I guess. Amy. Amy, yep. Got Amy. More is here. Hey, Lucifer. Alrighty, and put that up. Uh, I looked at the wrong screen. I was like, "Why is this still on screen? I hadn't even used it." All right. Jay. Yep, got Jay. Okay. So right here. Sorry, folks. I've been running a little. Yeah. I'm, I need to turn the camera. My muscle relaxer for the last couple of nights. Yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm here. Hmm. And I'm not even on camera. There we go. But your sexy head is. All right, that works. <laughs> now you can see this. So what I'm gonna do is hit the highest parts with the white, and we are going to start. We're gonna work here in this area. Mine's bigger than um than the photo because I wanted to make sure things stood out, and I'm just gonna drag down. Just so I know where our highest highlights are at and to make sure I get the curve right. Doesn't need to be exact, doesn't need to be filled in. Just let me know where it's at. Get that in real quick. And I did work on this photo, which is why you see more of the finished fish. And I started putting in some of the blurry stuff. Let's see right here on the end. We got some right here. Let's tap it in there. We got a little bit of glow right here. And see, all this lighting is what's going to make all the difference on how this looks and glows. We need those darks. Ooh, science range. We need the darks in the back to really push the light in the front and give us that separation. Because if you look down here at the bottom, um, there's no defined lines, not really, and I'm still working on it. There's no defined lines. Everything is a similar color, a tonal value. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is why it won't look as detailed, because we're not putting as much detail into it as we are these right here. So we get this in. And this is just the general charcoal white. There we go. I really need a cough again. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I can't even take medicine, so I wouldn't be doing this. Alrighty. Wheel. 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 High wheel. Wheelchair. Well, hello. Wheel. Yeah. Oh. It's further up. <laughs> All right, let's get that in there. And I think we're going to focus on this. promoted me. <laughs> you got promoted? From the <coughs> <to> the wheel. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Uh, okay. okay. I did take medicine. Alrighty, so I am set on three and a half. I'm going to actually turn down my heat to just under three. And we are going to hit the top of this one. And I do have a pencil line for where the darkest is. And I'm using the small spear shader. And we are going to do oval strokes. Now remember, I can always darken this if I need to later. I'm not going to worry about that. Oval quick strokes. I did put up a recap video of last week's live edited with voiceover. And I did a little bit of animation. Hopefully it helps. It is showing how I've got the pen tip touching down. Let's see here. I probably should zoom in. Here we go, guys. Hold on. Wee. Alrighty. Are you ready to put your pen? I think it's more my <laughs> my head than I need than my pen. There we go. I can see. All right. So get in there. Now we got to pay attention to how dark the anemone arm underneath this one is and it, as it turns out because this is curved and down this is darker than an anemone arm we're just going to say arm below it so that will help this darkness pop out more there is some texture not so much on this arm. And right now it looks really dark. It'll lighten up a little bit when I put in other shading. Spence is here. Hey Spence. Because it all works together. And the faster I go, the lighter it is. And then I'll slow down a little bit to get just the dark area. Because we got a dark line. It goes across. We need to make sure we follow the direction of the lines. And then I think I'm actually going to dial down. I'm going to go down to two. Let my tips cool off for a minute. We'll get rid of some of this graphite in here. And what I'm going to do is over blend. That's probably not the best way to say it. I am going to do a gradient. Starting in the darker area, when I touch down, that way no dreaded blob, and then bring it out. I am at two, just using the bottom tip. Blend that line together so it's not so obvious. Bring this up. Let's get the tip in here. Yeah. Do I need to go zoom in more? Um, I don't think so. You're pretty close. Okay. Alright, let's bring it out. Circle, circle. Quick, small circles. That is, like, my favorite stroke. It's almost like using a pencil, but because I started with graphite, I think that's why I, I tend to lean towards the stroke. Mm. It's like getting all the graphite into um, the texture of the paper. Bring it up to the white. Let's get all this in here. And then I'm going to jump to below, to the next arm below and around so that I can see how much darker something else needs to go. And if you'll notice, the one arm right next to this one. It has a halo, which is why there's a double line. That halo is, and not putting the detail and making sure the halo is there, that's what makes it fuzzy and gives the feeling that it's further, or that it is out of focus. So that halo is important to include. Let's see here. Oh, okay. The wheelchair turner mm -hmm. is it's David Zinman. Hey, David. He's, he's his name. starting his own YouTube channel. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. So I bumped up to two and a half. We are darker down here. 
Well, definitely good luck with that. It can be frustrating at some times and fun at other times. So. Remember, they're yes numbers. Yes has to remind me of that all the time. All right, so we have a little lighter area in here. So that's why I kind of skipped over that. I'll come back to it. And then we've got a lighter area along this line. And it gets a little darker here. Let's see here. Circle, circle, circle. And to me, that's how, even though it may not look like the smoothest burn right now, the circle stroke, oval stroke, I need to make a special name for it, <laughs> is what gives me the best um, results. Oh, uh, um, a wheelchair, wheel, aka David, mm -hmm. is um, editing his first video that is a great pain. <laughs> yes, it is. So Val, so Val, Val does all of her own editing. I do everything she for does my everything. channel. This is why I'm hubcap because I literally just you look here, pretty. Sit here and read comments. <laughs> you look pretty. She does the the shooting, the editing, um, all the green screen. Like when we did, uh, you helped. When we did some of the stuff, um, Bernadette with Bernadette. Um, I helped with that because that was a two-person project, but she does everything else on her own, and that's like a point of pride for her because, you know, she doesn't have um, a support team like that because I wish I she did, and I have actually. separate <laughs> product projects, but there there's many YouTubers that they're basically the stars of their show when it doesn't matter what they do. And they have, you know, either their spouses or even a team doing all their shooting and editing. And so all they have to do basically is show up and, and perform. And um, I think Val gets a little frustrated sometimes. Not because she wants me to do it, because she wants to do all of it on her own, you know. So like all the prep that goes into her work as far as like preparing the boards for, um, for uh, burning on. For anything. <laughs> like she does all of that and it's a really important to her that she does the whole project but it's frustrating I think for her sometimes because there's other people that put out videos like that you know over and over again and um, it's a, sometimes not all the time but sometimes it's because they have these support teams working and it makes that person look like incredibly productive when it actually it's the result of a team but as you can see from editing your own videos, that that is probably the most time consuming yep. part of the process. Now, I've done my own editing on other projects um, and I am not nearly as meticulous as Valerie as, as far as when she's editing her own work. So, Well, the recap took me Easily six hours for the recap, even though everything was already filmed. And that doesn't include creating the animation. No. Which I need to sit down and do more. All right, I'm trying to bring in my line on the white here, because right now we're kind of blurred, kind of lost. Which tells me, let's see here. Can, we, can we talk about that, the animation? Sure. So, mm -hmm. um,. Well, oh, real quick, I'm bumping up to three and a half because I'm putting a dark dark in here so I can see things better. Go ahead. Um, so Val had this idea of animating the tips so that people could understand better how she's applying the working part of the tool to the surface. And so she did that in the last recap video. And um, I guess the quest question is... Is, is that something that people are finding a value? Is uh, it helping? Is it, is it helping? Should she continue doing that? Because that, my opinion of it was a little different because I was thinking, it's like, okay, well, you watch Bob Ross and he tells you which brush you're using and, you know, you kind of can figure it out. Maybe it's not necessary, but pyrography is a little different, so... 
and of course I don't really do pyrography. I, I do other stuff. I've done it here on stream, but um, but it, I guess the bottom line is that something that that you guys like and want to see continued. I think it's helpful because I have to. I've stopped during a live and pulled down my board and shown what I'm trying to explain. And I think if I can just pop it up on screen, especially if somebody has maybe hearing issues. Well, David says it's helpful for him. Okay. Oh, good. Because that <laughs> that definitely took. I think I. Right now, I, I went down from three and a half to three, and I'm putting in, you guys may not be able to see it on the photo. <coughs> Excuse me. What I'm putting in is this line, this darkness right here, which is the arm that's further back in the distance. So I'm trying to get this line in. It's acting as a negative burn for here, and that way I can darken this, or lighten, depending on Let's see here. Lighten this to act as a negative burn here. So everything plays off of each other. And just like how this dark makes this light look even lighter. And then we have a cast shadow here from the top arm. They all play together. So that's what I'm trying to get in right now is that dark. It sounds like it's very popular. The, is it? Good. Yeah, you're getting a lot of positive comments about it so well I definitely want to make more of them it just they are time-consuming I've got to because um, I tried videoing with the green screen and that just didn't come out the way I wanted so I had to take photos with the green screen and take it into Photoshop and do my thing in Photoshop all right right here we have because it's blurry we don't have a defined edge so much so I'm going to with three very quickly go over the edge to blur it out even though this is a more detailed arm it has a little less detail in it we'll bring it up to darken that arm underneath see that shadow line right there just help pop out the arm and I'm going to go down to two and a half, so I have a little bit more control. Because right here is darker. So I'm going to make it darker without going too high where I have to try to smooth it out. I can do this in increments, which makes it a lot easier. I know it can be frustrating because you want to hurry up and get done. But if you really want those details, you've got to slow down. Got to got to slow down. So that in there. Circle, circle, circle. And see, this grain is running north-south. And it burns a little bit differently than grain that runs east-west on the same type of wood. And sometimes it's easier to go with the, the grain to get a smoother burn. And what I mean by that is ovals going along the grain this way instead of not necessarily across. So moving your pen around to get the tonal value you want and the stroke you want helps. See that is darker and we got a line across here. That line really needs, not a straight line, it's a curved line. Because this is a curved object. There we go. It goes all the way here. I can go a little darker. And in doing that, let's go back down to two. We also have some that comes out here. And I'm not waiting for my pen to cool off because when I touch down to the wood, it'll cool. I'm just making sure to touch down in a dark in an area I've already burned. So our glow. We've got a high highlight here. That 
close not as much here. If I darken what I just did above it, it will look lighter. Down. I know the glow may feel overwhelming, but if you just take your time, it'll come out. Just take your time. The more it says life lessons, sometimes easier to go with the grain. Yep. It. Yep, yep, yep. Let's straighten this line a little bit. <coughs> sometimes it is. And that means I need to back up this line a little bit more on this side. And it looks a little lighter in the photo, but I think I'll take some creative license and go a little darker. That way this highlight really stands out. And because I'm using the tip more so than flat, it is burning a little darker. So if I want it lighter, Graphite, don't need it no more for me. Right. I haven't been painting as much recently because I have to renew my creative license. What? I don't want to get arrested for painting without a creative license. Oh. <laughs> Dead joke. Alrighty. Darken that up a little bit. Let's go ahead and see how it looks if I took some white and just barely slide it in there. Not overly much. Just where the white will be. Help me see a little bit better. See how it's coming out on camera. Hmm. I wonder. I'm going to try to do a quick adjustment so you can see a little better, hopefully. No, it ain't going to work. Oh well. We can just leave it. Just leave it. Alright. So we do have this arm in the back, let's go ahead and put it in, making sure we follow direction. I'm just going to put it in right here at the top. I don't think I need anything more for right now. I just need to be able to adjust. And these are not going to necessarily be my final heat settings. This is just getting me started. That's all. So don't stress over if you go a little darker, a little lighter. I'm going to do a lot of adjusting at the end. Let's see here. We have an arm. I made this arm actually thinner, didn't I? I did. Hmm. Let's draw it in real quick. So actually, I think what I did was I. Just forgot a line on transfer. That's all. So that should be right there. There we go. Because that line tells me that's where the shadow, the darkest part of the shadow basically stops. I'm making patterns, you definitely should make it. However, suit your brain the best. Alright. Hey Troy's here. Hey Troy. Troy says fish has arms. Fish have arms. <laughs> this one does. This one does. All right, so I need to. Hey guys, I'll try and be on the <coughs> on the Warframe. I'm just really tired right now. Grumpy butt. Sorry, but you've been a grumpy butt. All right, right here, we're getting the same tonal value as behind because it's kind of see-through. It's translucent, so this is coming through from the back. So we have to be really careful. I'm trying to keep those the same but different. And I know that didn't just make sense. Same but different. Same but different. That's what we need right here. I'll be right back. Alrighty. <clears throat> Good coffee. Yeah. We're making another pot. Can I have a cup? Thank you, love. Alright, open that out. So that tells me 
this area needs to be about the same value. Let's see, we got a light and dark right there. Comes down into. Right. So I'm going to quickly put in the light. And then I'll have to readjust. See, right here. I'll just sketch in right here because I don't have a line. That's where my dark will start. Then I know. Let's just put the rest of this in here. We still have graphite. I'm trying to be careful and not go over it too much. All right. So our highlight is all right here except for this spot here, which kind of throws it off a little bit. If you're looking at it because you're like, ah, I'm going to lose everything. But it will read like all these bright highlights. So deep breath. It'll be good. Put that in there. Then we'll go back to adjusting the detailed one. All right. I think I got, well... Right here, this one is a darker one, so I'm going to bump up to almost three, and this one is darker than even this area right here, and so you can see, this one doesn't have strong light hitting it, so we've got this being darker. This is a more diffused light than it is versus some of these other ones, so this has to go darker than this if you look at the tonal value. <laughs> all right so at three just the tip i'm gonna blow on it just to cool it off before i touch down there we go the darkest part is right along the edge the least amount of light is hitting there so let's get that in there and I'm not going to put the whole thing in. I just need it around the main one we are working on. Alright, for now, that should be enough, just so I can see. And remember, it's all a work in progress, and it's going to have ugly stage syndrome for a long while. Alright, I think we got enough there. So I'm going to go back down to two. Cool off my tip. And when I'm cooling my tip off camera, it is just a matter of me tap, uh, swiping on my wood that I use for testing. Because that will draw the heat out. Get that in there. Okay, so how are we going to handle... This side. Now there is there is some value that I'm seeing. Remember, white's not white. In fact, you can see some of the blue here. High highlight. Oh, thank you, love. Go go juice. Straight go go juice. Yeah. Okay. Go go juice with cinnamon on top. All right. This tells me I need to bring this line in closer. Still only at two. And it's just a matter of working back and forth, back and forth, until you get it where you want it. And again, when I put all this other stuff in around it, it's going to work better. Just takes time. So, got some light there. We'll make this, I think, it's darker here. Because it's along the edge. And we don't have a high highlight, we just have a light tone. Along here. So, let's get that in there. And then I'm going to bump up my heat to get this darker area. And this value area is the same as this value area with this being a little darker and more filled in. So, 
two. 2.75 there, I'm gonna guess. That's about where I put it. I haven't been able to look at comments. Just trying to go. Go, go, go. Any questions? Uh, no. no this questions. makes Jay miss his fish. Aww. Well, you would, if you have any photos of your fish you would, that are similar, you could actually photo out shop out this fish and put your fish in. Take some practice, but you can do it. Alrighty. So let's get this dark one in. We're not seeing, we're seeing texture, but if you, it's not overly texturized. If you want these ovals um, to feel like more texture, then just make it a bigger oval as you go around and that'll give you more texture and if you want it more smooth you make smaller circles All right. and this thins out as we get to the top it goes back And then we have a dark, dark back here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put some of it in just so I can see how light this side needs to go because I'm going to have to go back and adjust this side. And it's just a back and forth game. Back and forth, see so. One up to three and a half. Hmm. Uh, how, how, what's the temperature for us today, do you think? Uh, for here? Yeah. Uh, you could say on top of the, um, tablet. 52%. No, that's 52. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> uh, you in numbers. I don't see it. It's at the top left. It says 1136. And? Facebook, inbox, inbox, dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's 47. It may be, it's probably a little warmer. It needs to reset. Uh, All right, so I'm not trying to cut a direct line into this one. It's 62 where David is, Teresa at 63. David's in, I believe he's in California. Well, I don't know, he's got possible tornado warnings. So. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, I might be thinking of somebody else. All right, so I'm not making a clear line right against this one because it's fuzzy. And I need to be able to fuzz it out later. I'm trying to be careful. See, I need to angle my board, but I don't want to keep moving it. That's why. Yeah, we're going to have to, though. Ah, besides, it's killing me back to sit up that way. All righty. Circle, circle, circle. You remember that rotating board that we saw mm -hmm. at the wood carving show? For carvers, yeah. Yeah. That was like really expensive though for what it was. Um, other people have them, but I need a big, I want a bigger angle for when I burn so that the heat isn't hitting my hand. And that didn't angle up as much. Because right now I pushed my angle up and I'm. Oh, sorry. Anybody wearing headphones? Sorry about that. <laughs> that was a sudden. Whoa. Let's see here. So this does fuzz out a little bit, but I can get. I'm gonna go closer. So everybody's calling in with their temperatures. So 53 in Michigan for Jay. Amy Hess. It's uh, rainy and 55 in West Virginia. We're supposed to get snow tomorrow. And for Moritz, it was 63 to 68, lovely and sunny in Germany, off Deutschland. We're supposed to get snow tomorrow. Oh. It starts, starts with the rain and goes to snow. All right, so I got that line in there. Oh, he's uh, David's in Green Bay. Oh, sorry. Right, near David. Green Bay. Oh, Wisconsin, I know Wisconsin. who I was thinking of. I know who I was thinking of. Wait, he's got tornado warnings there? Yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah. I thought they just had cheese and 
a football team. I'm going to take a drink. I'm bumping down to two and a half. I thought you were going to say you're going to take a drink and then I'm going to slap Hubcap. No, I never slap you. I tickle you. Less painful. Mm -hmm. Doesn't leave a mark. Huh. That, that was bad. Yeah. I'm sorry. I yeah. apologize. <laughs> and the truth comes out. That's <laughs> <laughs> how I, <clears throat> I get my exercise. Don't you remember being kids when a girl liked you? That never happened. Well, I'm making up for it. So now you gotta let me do it. I think. <laughs> David said, bless you, Jason. I'm pretty sure you mean something else. <laughs> That's what my grandma used to say. She used to say, bless him and move on. I was like, but grandma, why are you using that finger? <laughs> See here. It's supposed to be more dark down here. What did I lose besides my head? I don't know why I stopped there. There was a line here. I think there was supposed to be a... a lighter one but i'm going to actually ignore it creative license i'm gonna ignore it i went ahead but back up to three and a half so i can get this in and get it out of here all the contrast back and forth is what makes a difference and really will make this glow we've got to have these darks in here because if everything was basically the same tonal value the same lighting it wouldn't glow it would just look flat. Mm -hmm. So we need the light. The light and dark are our friend. We need that balance. Oh. Mm -hmm. David's house was hit last year by a tornado. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Mm. Beryl <laughs> says eight degrees Celsius there. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. It's above freezing, freezing now, so it's like 40 something. Right now, I'm using all the pin flats. Sonia is 72 in her part of Texas. And I'm actually kind of angled over to the side. I'm going to have to make a visual for. I'm angled to the side and then dragging down. And I'm going slower, which is what also helps make it darker. We could make really enlarged versions of the tips, and I could should be behind you, like showing on the paper, on this <laughs> piece of cardboard, mm. like that, like this. I'm also going down with the grain, which is helping. <clears throat> this is our darkest spot. It's 48 degrees where Spence is at. In Vancouver. For some reason, the shadow is supposed to be thinner. I screwed something up. Hmm? Well, I'm looking at it. I'm working on that arm. It's supposed to be a thin line, but I started burning. I think you went into the shadow. Well, this is the shadow part I'm trying to do. See, I lose my place all the time. Wait, did you mix it with the one that's below it? That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Below it. That's what I'm trying to figure so, out. What I could do. Thankfully, those are. You can. Yep, alter I did. Those. You can alter those because. Yeah. Yeah. Because it should have been right about here. It should have gone like this. But. I messed up. So what I'm going to do I'm going to see what that looks like. Um, do you want that line? So we got this gap. If I You know what? It's fine. Looking at it, I still have enough gap between this arm and that arm. I think this dark might actually help that a little bit. So I'm going to leave it. And it's just going to have to be okay. What I can do is, because there's a lighter one. 
Back here. Barrel says, happy little shadows. Yep. I'm not going to stress about it. This gap's a little it actually big. actually come very far. Hmm? A couple years ago, that wouldn't have been a happy little shadow. You wouldn't... I don't, I'm not sure if you have been able to let that go. Sure I would. On, on something like this. Now, if this was inside the subject, then I'd have to fix it. Are you, are you testing that close to the wire? Oh, from a safety standpoint, I, <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, but if I don't have my cord here, it catches on the corner. Put it behind it. Put it behind where? The board. Then the heat from the board goes down to the cord. No. I'm confused. I'll do it. I'm confused. I bump back down to two I'll do while it. he confuses you won't feel me. A thing. Easy. Oh, that one. Oh, no. I know, but then it catches. Look, then it catches. That's why it's not there. Look. There. I am the safety guy. Okay, I your safety safe sucks. Oh, don't. <laughs> Don't you dare. But now I, it's going to get caught. That is why I have it in the front. Mm. He messed up my vibe. Somehow. I pay attention to where I touch down. And nobody else sees me do it, so it's not like I'm saying don't do what I do. They can't <laughs> see now me. They know because... because you told them. You told them. Now they know. And he's just going to sit here and mess with my cord. I'm going to put it back. Thank you you're being difficult. I'm being difficult. I'm not the one. Okay, I'm going to come in and screw with your paintbrushes. Ha ha. Ha. I won't even notice. <laughs> screw you out. <laughs> Sneak in. I'm going to mess with his paintbrushes. Two weeks later, nothing. I'm going to mess up the arrangement of your garbage. <laughs> Thank you for trying. But I do pay attention to where I touch down. So. Uh, Kirsten, music and live says good evening. How are you? Hey, hi, Kirsten. Good. How are you doing? Right now, I'm just doing Thank small you. ovals on two to build this up. Music and life. Not sorry, not live. She says, by the way, thank you again for the recommendation. The Optima mine is ordered. Now the waiting begins. Awesome. In general, unless Pat has run into issues, he's really good on trying to get them out as quick as possible. Optima. Optima. <laughs> it makes a difference. I want people to be happy so they'll, they'll keep burning. If you're not comfortable with your burner, you're not going to stick with it. That's true. Alrighty. So now we have to deal with these two arms. Because if you look at it, they're pretty close together. So now I have to figure out how I want to separate them. So I think, go down here, I'm still at two, just using the tip, but got to get them separated because then we kind of lose the one and this one is in front of this one, so this one you would see more detail on. Let's see how much two already. I need to bring this over because we need some more shading. The line is not overly thick. Kristen is curious to see the difference between the European Peter Brand and the Optima. Oh, you'll see. You'll well, it'll be a big difference. I, is there anybody in chat who's had a Peter Brand? Um, Cian, he's not in chat anymore. Uh -huh. um, the Peter Brand is very similar to the Burnmaster, pin wise and tip wise. She says she hopes that she'll be able to burn longer with less oh. shaky hands. Oh yes, you'll you'll feel a giant difference. Let me bring this over. So now that's not as smooth as I like. So if something's not as smooth as I like, but I need to keep it light. It's going to be this one's four hundred. I can feel even though it's not marked. You get used to f how certain things feel. It's wrapped around my sanding stick because I don't need the sanding stick to get overly heavy. I want to go with the grain, so I got to turn my board. 
I'm just going to lighten this up a little bit. And in some areas where maybe I've gotten a little too dark, I can do the same to help with the lighting. It doesn't take too much off because I'm not hitting it hard. But it does give me the look I want. Let's see here. Let me just check and see if there's any other place I need to hit. I don't think so. Alright. I'm wondering if I need to like start this one here in the front, this blurry. Even though we're gonna focus on blurry next week and depth. I wonder if I should do that in order to help myself with this one. What I'm doing here is what I do off camera. I'm going back and forth, trying to figure out what I want to do and where I want to do it. And for some reason, I just had Spice Girls go through my head. Have what? Spice Girls. Tell you what you want. Yes. What you really, really yes. Want. Yes. That one. That one. Alrighty. So right here, I think I'm gonna bump up to two and a half. Right here on this front one, this glow coming through is coming through because of the light. In fact, a lot of the glow in some areas, right here. <clears throat> um, right here that is all diff light coming through and it's diffu diffusing and that is why we have the different light going on in one little arm so they're like glowy they're glowy mm -hmm. and that's based on diffused light David has to go bye David good luck with your channel yep good luck thanks for stopping by Get that in here and see. We've also got this one that is overlapping over the top ones because this is more. T this is top, and this, so we got one, two, three, four. The four being the furthest, and one being the closest. But the camera has focused on two, three, and a bit of four in its focus. Maybe that's how I should number it. Make it a little easier. So these are the darker areas, and then we got the glow in the middle. And I would guess that the reason we got the glow in the middle with the bit of this diffused outline is maybe the arm is the walls of the arm are thicker towards the outside. So almost like oh, think of this as when you put a light, a flashlight through your hand turned on, the light glowing through. That's what we're kind of going for for this. Well, I think the reason why you see the outlines is because they're kind of like kelp, so they're hollow in the center. Oh, and so that could be it too. And so you're seeing like the light collect in the walls of the plant. Uh, I think it's a plant, or is it a creature? Uh, they're creatures. Oh, okay. So anyway, but yeah. yeah. So you're enemies are creatures. Picking up that luminosity or, or on the circumference of, of each of those whatever they are all right so we do i'm going to very quickly put this in right here because i need to erase so it's lighter here so let's get this in here this is what's going to make the fuzzy glow around it sometimes being an artist means that you have to understand how things are composed or yep. comprised on a physical level much in the same way that a scientist would because you have to be able to understand the structure in order how to things work. understand how the light's interacting with it. This, I'm just doing it back and forth, flat, so that I can get a more muted burn just to get it in there. All right, let's get this fuzzy in. All right. See, if you, once you erase the graphite, you can start seeing that glow. It starts, I know it's hard to see right now, but let me, let me get this. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to just, just below two 
because I need to be able to get in there without overburning. So I'm trying to cool off my pen by touching down outside of where I want to be. Let's get in here, top, and I'm going to go out. Don't want any defined lines, we're just going to go out. We're approaching one hour. Okay. So right here I'm going out and we will do this more next week. Now it shows me I got to go a little darker on the top and I need to go darker here. I'm just trying to get this in so we can see the glow. And this is showing me that I need to come a little closer to the edge. We don't want any harsh lines here. Our glue. Got a little too much there. And we'll talk about overlapping next week. And then we'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll see how far I've gotten. Because um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to add color to this one. All right, get that in there. It'll come down further, but for now, I just want to separate it. Okay. And this was a just shy of two. And I will recap this one as well. So hopefully, I, I did a little bit better of focusing. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to be taking notes. It's okay. I'll have to listen to the live. Um, I still. Like you, you're burning so low mm -hmm. and getting results. It's amazing to me the difference. Um, oh, with the different burners? Yeah. yeah. That's also how I'm moving my pen as well. And that's, to me, that's like, that's probably the biggest thing about any artist that's instrument easy. is that, because you, you have this in, in like some airbrushes too where. Uh, the cheaper mm -hmm. ones where you pass a point where there's no paint no paint and then there's a, a lot of paint and there's yeah. not, not much nuance there and you really have to finesse it so the better airbrush that you get the more control you have over that you know and I think that's what that's what you have with the Optima right is control oh yes very much so that's one of the I'm just many asking. things I love about it so I will have to keep building up this area. I will post pictures in the Facebook group. But you can see here where I started doing some of the blurring. Um, and then once I have everything laid in, I will go through with denatured alcohol and wipe this whole board down and do any balancing I need to do with it and go from there. Well, that's really come a long way. Well, I worked two hours off camera on this and then we just did this for the live portion part um and then like i said i'll have the recap i'm gonna try to edit the recap tonight so that i can get it up by thursday because mm -hmm. i also had to voice over gotcha may not have a lot of animation yet because i need to get that done and my special project i've got to get that finished because it has to ship off so uh, the third week of april Teresa's is going to be for her grandson. He loves fish. Awesome. Burl's going to put hers in the new bathroom. Oh, cool. Hope it's done before the bathroom. <laughs> well, you got to actually sit down and burn for it to be done before the bathroom. I didn't know she would get in a new bathroom. Do we have any questions? And um, no, not I wonder I if I see. should put. You know what? I'm going to quickly, very quickly, very, very quickly. I'm going to put a dark right here, just so Why? this arm pops out more. Okay. Because there is a dark right here, and it's going to make all the difference for this arm, this arm, and this, and this one is a very, very dark fish in the back, and then this one's less blurry, or more blurry, less blurry. Oh. So let's quickly... So, bro, are you going to put the seahorse in the same composition, or is that a different oh, painting? Cool. Come on, a different burning, sorry, not painting. 
because she's gonna she went to a seaforest farm a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So must have got some pictures. All right, let's just get this in here real quick. And this is just a drag. Oh wow! Okay, the bathroom's been in the works for thirty years. Oh. She might have a little time. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's going in quick. Yeah, I'm at three and a half, which is what I did this side with, because I'm going with the grain and dragging down. It's... Okay, it's a different burning that's going to be the seahorse. Hmm. That would be an interesting one though, lots of texture, I'd like to see that. Alright, there we go. I think that's enough for now, just to show how much the dark just changed that arm. Yeah. That's really what I wanted to show was, boom, it just, the arm's there now, just because of the dark. And now I don't have to worry as much about this light because that dark right there makes that light pop out. So even if I didn't put white on that area, it still raises very light, but I do think I want some, some white. Uh, you do have a one, one question. Mm -hmm. oh, Beryl got the hold of seahorse too. Mm -hmm. um, Teresa says, the fins were really difficult to see on my printout. Did you have to draw from creativity and experience? They were difficult for me. What, it, they are kind of a hard detail. Um, trying to think what are you talking about the white part of the fin or this part because my fin is not done this part still needs to be darkened right here but i was just and this needs to be darkened and kind of smoothed out here but i was just kind of paying attention to how the curves were and just kind of dragging them in there well i can see if, um, based on the, the black and white one it is hard to it is it's really hard but the color one Maybe try and print it out in color if you that's, don't have it, because the color yep. gives better definition. And that's why I do it this way. See this photo? I can see definition in here that doesn't pick up as well in the monochromatic. And it doesn't have to be sepia. It can be black and white. It can be red and white. Whatever works. It gives a monochromatic color. The tra translucent part, yeah, I still have to work on this because it's going to go darker. But I was just paying attention. I was just... Trying to pay attention to my reference, but not doing very well at that. I need to blend this out. Um, in fact, a lot of this needs to be blended out. I was just putting it in place. I can go back and blend it out later. So I'm not going to stress over that. Alrighty. So next week, we'll look at these. We'll look at some of these. One or two of these. And we'll look at some of the front ones. And then I will have to push really hard to get done if we're going to color this at the end of April. Because I, I am leaning towards color on, on Conan here. I think the color will definitely work. Mm. In fact, I still need to put him in. He's also here. He's also here. He's also here. And here. Mm. I can Excuse smell me. the wood. So this is where color would be in the piece. Where's your other pen? I'm off. See? Your red light. Okay. My hot pen is where... I can just smell the wood burning. Because I just did a hot burn here. Okay. Just, just <laughs> no. I smell it. I always glance at my light. Always. Because I have left on my burner. Been so tired I've left on the burner. And then freaked out when I came back in six hours later. Mm. It's been two years since I did that. Mm. So I'm very good now about making sure that red light is not on before I leave the room. That's and if right. I don't remember, I will look for my door to check to make sure that red light's not on. Got it. Alrighty. Don't forget to hit the like button, please. Please. I tried to stay more focused this time. <laughs> I just liked it. You just liked it? Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you liked me. Like <laughs> don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new there will be a recap that will focus on this and don't forget get it to work 
you're awesome. You can do this. You're a pyro artist. Happy burning, guys. Bye. Alrighty, move you. Hmm?